Hello there. What is going on, everyone? We're talking about some Rebel pilots that are going to be coming in the Hot Shots and Aces 2 pack from Atomic Mass Games. This is going to be an epic reinforcements pack that has new pilots for all of the factions. Uh, that's right, all seven, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> We're going to have a look at the Rebels today. Presumably, AMG will continue to be doing previews of this pack and uh, hitting up all of the different factions and uh, giving you guys a great update on what to expect in this pack. And of course, we will be doing an unboxing uh, when this does come out as well. So we'll be taking a look at that. Uh, if you guys are new here to the channel, we are giving away a lightsaber in the form of a $200 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to enter to win that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Plus, we're also doing 12 Days of Life Day. Uh, that is going to be happening in December. So people who comment and leave a uh, and are subscribed are automatically entered to win one of the 12 different giveaways we'll be doing throughout the month of December. <clears throat> and of course, that lightsaber giveaway is running all the way until uh, the end of the year. So that'll be announced early January as well. I also want to thank today's sponsor, Luxury Playstyle. Amazing X-Wing compatible tokens. They are full metal, shiny, gorgeous, double-sided. They are absolutely the greatest thing you're going to be putting on your tabletop. And you're going to love these things. You're really going to love them. Your opponents are going to be like, whoa, what are those? Um, you're going to save 15% if you use code VIP. So check out uh, check out LuxuryPlaystyle.com. Uh, you're going to see some amazing tokens over there. Also, not only X-Wing tokens, but uh, Legion compatible tokens, Magic the Gathering tokens, L5R, all kinds of stuff like that. Check them out. You're going to really like what you see. And they make great holiday gifts and surprise uh, prize support as well. So check them out. All right, so we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, the pilots that were spoiled in a recent article from Atomic Mass Games. Uh, first off, we're looking at Corin Horn and uh, Kyo Venzi. Uh, now, uh, Corin Horn, you might remember from uh, the, of course, the huge uh, expanded universe now is Legends. Uh, I could have sworn that Corin Horn kind of had, uh, you know, that was going to have Force or something like that. I thought they were going to, I thought they were going to sneak some Force on Corin Horn, but they did not apparently. But what we do have is uh, we've got a, a kind of a cool ability. We'll talk about Corrin Horn first. Um, he's uh, Initiative 5 in an X-Wing. He is uh, after you declare the defender of an attack. If you have a lock on the defender, a, fr a friendly ship may transfer their lock token from you to the defender. So basically, Corrin Horn can go in, take a lock, and maybe somebody else who's behind him can eventually get that lock early. Um, he's going to be nice with kind of like low... Uh, a low torpedo or missile uh, platforms, maybe Y wings can get there. You know, low no, low initiative Y wings can still get, um, you know, get their lock and be able to shoot. He's usually one of the problems that like a, a low initiative ship will have is, you know, I need to get a, a lock on this ace, but they're out of range and I have to move first, and I'm not going to be able. I'm going to be too far away to get my lock, and then they're going to move in, um, and then they're, then I'll be. I'm just going to have to shoot them with the main gun. Uh, so Corrin Horn is kind of helping to alleviate that. Not the strongest ability ever because it does require some setup. It doesn't work necessarily with with every build uh, as well. But uh, but he's also an initiative five X wing, so that's going to be good. It's going to be interesting though to see what his point, where he's point costed at, what kind of loadout points he's given, uh, and that's going to I think also be maybe more important um, uh, um, to the Corrin Horn pilot card. Moving on to uh, Kyo Venzi. Uh, Kyo Venzi was one of the characters who was from Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, they were uh, like I think one of the, the like the yellow tattooed face alien that was that was there. Um, so so that's who that's who they are. Uh, if you have no active force, right? So they have a force ability and an A wing initiative three, uh, but it's not. This is important. It's not a recharging force. So it's like it's just a one shot. Like they have a little bit of force. Um, if you have no active force, after you reveal a bank maneuver or a turn maneuver, you may increase the difficulty of the maneuver. If you do, perform uh, that maneuver as a side slip and recover one force. Uh, and then, of course, vector thrusters in there. So this is an interesting, like, I, I don't think in the game they were force sensitive. And, and so I'm thinking to myself, like, well, this is an interesting mechanic because wouldn't it have worked as a charge instead but the thing is when you have the force available at least you can change a die so i think i think the goal was to give them 
you know, a little bit of benefit when it's up, but then also a benefit when it's down, um, but not unlimited force. So it's not like, you know, so maybe they're just lucky, you know, and maybe this is like maybe the non-recurring force charge is a way to kind of represent that. I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty cool though. Um, but then again, maybe I need to go back through my lore. Maybe they actually were slightly force sensitive. I think, uh, you know, if, if you're fans of, of like old uh, EU and stuff like that too. I think we, one of the things we re remember is there were a lot of uh, people in the galaxy that were at least partially force sensitive, but not necessarily you know high enough levels to become a Jedi. And so maybe that's where that's where maybe that's where Keo kind of uh, fits in. That's an interesting one. But being able to do side slips is cool, but you can only do that when the force charge is not active. So if like you had no, you can't just spend it on your own. You have to like either be attacking or defending even have an opportunity to spend it so if you do get to spend it then you have the side slip so you're not going to actually start out being able to do crazy side slip you know strafing kind of side slip maneuvers which are really cool by the way you're and, and you get to choose when you reveal the maneuver too so like the timing of that is really cool i think it's gonna be uh i think they're gonna be a really fun pilot more fun maybe than corin horn corin horn's got the higher initiative though but but that's still pretty cool Let's move on. Um, we've got Tycho. Psycho Tycho is back. Uh, this is uh, just a really fun uh, pilot. Was one of the best uh, A-wing pilots and in the initial game. Uh, and, uh, and Initiative 5, Tycho Selchu says, While you have two or fewer stress tokens, you may perform actions even while stressed. Let's, uh, it's a little change. You can't just have infinite stress tokens now. But you can still have a lot. You can still have a lot because it's not fewer than two, but it's two or fewer. So that means if you have one stress token or if you have two stress tokens, you can still perform actions. Doesn't mean you can perform red uh, maneuvers while stressed, however. Uh, so keep that in mind. But what it does mean is that you can do that K turn. You can do vectored thrusters, right? You can do the K turn. You're like, oh, I got a stress token from the K turn. No problem. Let's take a focus. Boom. I got my focus. Oh, I have vectors. Thrusters, after you perform an action, you may perform a red boost action. I can perform a red boost action even though I already have no problem. Gnarly. And so like K-turn into boost, uh, you know, with a focus. And now you have two stress. Um, and, and and then you're fine. You do, you know, and you can even do it again next turn, kind of. You, you can do part of it. Um, you can't do another K-turn though, right? So like, you know, it, it, there's a lot of fun. It's, it's, Tycho's going to be super, super fun. Um, I think he's gonna be. Uh, I think. I think this is gonna be a real, a real gro groovy uh, A-wing to fly. We also have Wes Jansen, uh, and uh, you may remember Wes Jansen as uh, who he was uh, Wedge's uh, Wedge's gunner. You know, good shot, Jansen. Wedge's Wes was in X-wing 1.0. Uh, one of the more popular X-Wing pilots, uh, even though when the X-Wings weren't that good, they were still, West was still pretty good. Um, Initiative 5 pilot says, after you perform an attack, you may spend one charge to assign the defender a jam token. After you defend, you may spend one charge to assign the attacker a jam token. He's got one charge recurring. This is very similar to the original ability Wes had. I believe Wes came with the GR-75 transport. He was one of those alternate X-Wing pilots you got. Uh, in in that because it had the little it had porkins and stuff like that where it, you know has some extra X wing pilots and the extra X wing X escort model in there, um, but uh, but yeah but this is nice that uh, Wes is still initiative five can attack pretty early jam a lot of folks you know all those and in other initiative fives or initiative fours uh, and and lower you know go for it like take uh, take those tokens off before everybody else lower initiative great great kind of a uh, Great squad leader, if you're running like a bunch of X-wings or or similar that are maybe slightly lower initiative, or if you're running a bunch of initiative fives, he might make a great uh, uh, first first striker. You know, so pretty cool. And last but not least, we've got Pops. Uh, Pops is, man, you know, it's funny when I see this this the 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 framing of this picture and the card. It almost makes me think of the original Gold Squadron art because, like, I'm like, wait, is that is that Y Wing's shoulder a little too far forward? You know, I'm like, no, no, I think that one, though, I think the perspective is right on that one. But for those of you who remember the old Gold Squadron uh, Y Wing, uh, had the kind of the really uh, bad perspective on on the two little nacelles that it had, and uh, so it was really fun. It's a good uh, good kind of a uh, little thing to laugh at for uh, fans of the uh, original 
X-Wing miniatures game. Uh, but uh, Pops comes in at initiative three. Uh, this is an actual build-your-own Pops, not necessarily the Pops we see in the Battle of Yavin. Um, and so you're going to be able to do some customizing with this one. It says, after you fully execute a white maneuver, you may choose a friendly ship at range zero to one. If you do, it may perform a focus action. And so what the cool thing about this is Pops, you know, I think Pops is going to be a good torpedo delivery system. Uh, Pops is initiative three, so you might want to fly well with Jansen to get that target lock early. Great idea. But even without Jansen, I think Pops can work well uh, on, on his own because you can move in, take the target lock, right? But oh, you won't have to worry. You'll be double, you'll be double modded because if you do that white maneuver, if you move in, you move forward, you do like a three straight or something like that, um, you're gonna get a free focus action. That's pretty cool. Um, but the cool thing about this is that it can be another ship. So like, you know, I think a lot of people are gonna say you may choose a friendly ship at range zero to one. And you you can do that to yourself if you want. Um, but I think Pops will also be fantastic for other folks. It can be somebody who's already gone. It can be somebody who hasn't gone yet. It can be somebody who's getting ready to do a red maneuver uh, that might otherwise not be able to take a focus. So you can help somebody to do that K turn and still have an, a focus token on them. Uh, because he's lower initiative, that kind of gives you you know a little bit of protection for your aces, a little bit of extra added on protection. So I think that that's pretty cool. Um, but the thing is you have to fully execute the white maneuver and you also have to be close to them. You have to be range one of another ship or range or, or range zero. I, like I, if you fully executed the maneuver, you're probably not range zero, probably not range zero. You know, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know how, I, I don't know if there's too many cases where another ship can be range zero of you after you fully execute a white maneuver. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if there's a use case that comes to mind. I mean, this could just be good future proofing, uh, and and it might be there uh, to build into timing of other things that happen after you move. Then somebody locks on to you like a magnetic ship or something like that, or buzz droids and things like that. Of course, you wouldn't be giving buzz droids a free focus, but you know things like that um, potential. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, the real thing, the, the main thing here is range range one. Well, I, I guess the range zero is for yourself too, because you. Our range zero, right, of yourself. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm curious if you could get another friendly ship at range zero of you after perform fully executing a white maneuver, which means not bumping. Uh, and so that's going to be the thing. If you're a good, if you're experienced pilot and you can manage not to bump and you can keep this guy close to your other ships, you can get some pretty cool uh, rewards out of it. So it seems pretty cool. Uh, Hot Shots and Aces 2 is going to have more previews, so we'll be taking closer looks at a lot of these. Uh, looks pretty good. It's up for pre-order now, too, so uh, head over to the shop.asmodee.com and you can, you know, lock it in. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later. I want to thank you all for watching. Big thanks to my patrons. Patrons, you guys are absolutely amazing and help make this whole channel possible, so thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you guys later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. So say we all. Be excellent to each other. Party on dues. Always wash your socks. And uh, uh, I think I think that's all of my quotes. I think I think that's about it. You can't take the sky from me.